I'm just the happiest person on the planet this morning. Te amo. What does that mean? You love? <clears throat> I bought it because it looked like it said, almost like it said Amos. It is, if you live in North Carolina, it's spring break. I think for the big cities, they have spring break this past week. But if you live in Eastern North Carolina, spring break is always the week after Easter. And they take this very seriously. It's the way it's always been done and it has to be done that way, period. Now, Adrian, not that what Adrian says matters, Adrian thinks that spring break should just kind of be a random week because Easter moves around. Easter could be, I think one year it was April 26th. It could be April 1st. So that's a lot of variation. And I am not just, good morning everyone, I am not just um, proselytizing for Adrian. You know who I care the most about and who I'm, I really did wake up thinking about this morning? Our teachers. Mm. We have got some teachers and our teachers, they get turd, tired. Yesterday, I was at the Dollar Tree in Hertford. Now, I live in Edenton, North Carolina. It's a pretty place. It's a little, little gray today, but that's okay because we're in our pajamas and didn't have to go to school. Well, every day when I take somebody to school, I think about these teachers are here and they are just smiling and standing there. Look, Jennifer said this teacher's tired. This is a video for the teachers because the teachers are working when I do videos. And I would like to challenge every person out there to write a thank you note to their child's teacher or a text, or an email. Here's what I want you to say. Dear teacher, I see you, I feel you, I understand you, and most of all, I appreciate you because you are awesome. And if you write it today, you can say, and my child has only been on spring break one and a half hours, and I think you're awesome. Look, Ashlyn, I mean, it, I'm not kidding. Please do that for me. I'm going to do it when I get off this video. And you could even give them an e Easter present. I was sort of thinking, like, is it tacky to send a teacher? Like, that? App, my kids are always asking me to Apple pay them something. Like, here's $20. Here's $5 for a coffee. Go get yourself some lunch on me. I always feel like it's a little bribery because I have a person that's probably extra difficult. <laughs> I don't want to think I'm trying to pay them off. But anyway, yesterday I was at the Dollar Tree in Hertford. I was trying to be the Easter Bunny. I was like, I'm going to be the Easter Bunny. I'm going to get myself together. And so anybody that knows me knows I have a real problem with not losing like debit cards, credit cards. They're all gone. So they're all gone right now. I have none. I think I left one at a restaurant. My debit card, I cleaned out my car. Just, meow. so I have my Apple Pay on my phone. I get to the Dollar Tree. And I'm like, this is a year I'm not going to spend zillions of dollars on Easter because none of these people want any of this crap. So I went to the Dollar Tree. Bought I bought Easter baskets at the Dollar Tree because the buckets I had here are way too big. And then they were going to look empty. So I bought the tiny little, you know, baskets. And um, here, do you not have a purse? Yes, I have a purse. But the, the question is, do I carry a purse? I have a nine-year-old with autism, a service dog. Do you think I can haul a purse around too? I might as well, like, pull a trailer behind me. I mean, seriously. Like, I cannot carry a purse unless I'm by myself. Um... But anyway, I'm standing in line, blah, blah, blah. And the woman in front of me, sa I said something like, oh, this is so exciting. It's spring break. And she goes, yeah, my daughter, she said, my daughter's over in Edenton. She says they're getting out half day today. I was like, what you talking about, Willis? What? She goes, oh, yeah. 
Yes. They're getting out half day today. She's coming over here, and then she's got to run back. I told her we're going to get this Easter stuff, and then we're getting back. So I get on the phone. I'm calling. Well, there's no signal where we live, especially in the Dollar Tree, which is actually a family dollar, but they have a sign that says Dollar Tree outside that's kind of sneaky. Well, I have to go out. I leave my cart, and I go out in the parking lot to call. Now, meanwhile, I have texted like five teachers. I've te texted Amos's two teachers, and I've texted two teacher friends and maybe a principal. They haven't answered, so I'm like in a panic mode. I'm in another town to Easter shop. So I get <laughs> this call. And also a real real kudos to the people that work in the front office at your school. So in this case, Kim answered the phone. Kim and I have been friends a long time. I love Kim. Hello, White Oak School. I said, Kim, it's Adrian. She goes, yeah? I was like, um, and I'm thinking, should I say this out loud? Because I feel kind of dumb. Well, I just met this mom, or well, actually grandma, at the Dollar Tree in the line. And she told me that her daughter told her that it's a half day today. Is that true? She was like, no. She might have said something like, I wish it was. But she said, no, it's a full day. Well, sorry I called to ask you that. I mean, I knew it was a full day because I had it in my calendar on my phone, which when the new calendar gets approved, I actually put all the dates into my phone because if I don't, then I would miss the school bus on all the half days. And then my friend Bonnie, who's an accountant, would never know, come on, Honor, would never know what, what days to pick up her kids because every time there's a holiday, she texts me and says, do we have a half day this week? So I go back in there and the grandma, I'm sort of annoyed at her at this point because now I've been embarrassed and I'm like, we have a full day. Well, that's not what my daughter said. I'm like, well, I talked to Kim and she is the head of the school. Well, she's coming over here and she's running back to get them. I, I almost said, but I was like, Adrian, don't say that. I almost said, and this is what I think. Maybe she doesn't want to hang out with you for a long time. So she lied so she can get her butt back over to Edenton. But the woman was very nice. I mean, I don't know why the daughter wouldn't want to hang out with her. And I didn't say it because I'm nice. But then the texts from the teachers start coming in and they're like, no, 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 it's a full day. But they're all like, I mean, a half day is the best idea I've ever heard. So I think I've got to get on the calendar committee next year so I can advocate for our teachers. Now, do I like a half day? No. But do I want to do something nice for my teachers? Yes. In fact, instead of, I went to the grocery store yesterday, I went to the Dollar Tree. I should have gone around and gotten presents for the teachers. That might be what I do today. I might take a little present to the teachers. Of course, I have to find out where they live. And they're going to be like, oh my God, why is she at my house? But the story didn't end there. So I get the stuff. It'll be $112 for this Easter that's supposed to, I'm not supposed to spend money on in my head. So I don't know if this is really, but I mean, literally my children are like, I'd like tickets to Morgan Wallen for Easter. I'm like, um, that is like a Christmas present. Easter? Like, Easter is, you know, some socks or shoes from roses. So, we don't have school today. So, Easter is today. Today's Good Friday. We're talking about yesterday. Um, yes, we always have this Friday off. But then, I have my Apple Pay, you know, because I lose the wallet. And I'm trying to tap the phone on the thing. She's like, 
Yes, I did get your nice present you sent me. Thank you, Karen. Teachers sure appreciate any random act of kindness. I think so, too. I mean, I just think it's so important. The days leading up to spring break are the dark days of education. Those teachers need a break. Marion is a school administrator. Yes, yes, they just need a lot of love and care. But, um, so I get to the Apple Pay thing, and I cannot. She goes, what are you doing? I said, I'm using my, you know, tap or whatever this thing is. She goes, mm -mm, that don't work. I was like, what do you mean it don't work? It says it right here, like, tap. It says it on your door outside. Wow, it don't work. I was like, well, is it that you don't know how to get it to work, or does it not work at all? Would you want me to get the manager? I said, yeah, get the manager. So then the manager comes over. Yeah. I said, uh, your sign says, do not give teachers a coffee cup. We hate them. No coffee cup. How about a gift certificate to the coffee shop or Starbucks or something or Edenton Coffee House or just cash? I'm a big fan of cash. Here's a 20. Um... The manager comes over and says, yeah. I said, I want to use this tap. She goes, mm, that don't work. I was like, but it says it right here that you have it. She goes, well, I mean, it works when it wants to. It's like, what do you mean when it wants to? But we can't let you do it because it's going to shut our registers down. I feel like I live in an alternate universe. I mean, you can't use it because it's going to shut our registers down. I mean, what what is this? Where has my husband taken me to? <laughs> they don't, they show up and get downstairs. Now we're running a law practice in here. We've got a closing in our house. And he's just told me when they show up to tell him that he's downstairs. I mean, what the hell? Only one person in this family can work from home, and it's me. More Southern accent, please. Yeah, I was like, well, we take a check. I was like, a check? I don't have my pocketbook. So then I go to the food line. I march in there. I say, can you get cash back from this tap thing? She said, yeah. I said, how much can you get? You can get over, you can get, I've never seen anybody have any problem when they get $200. So I said to the people before I left, keep it here. I'm going to go to the bank and get some money. Well, so then I start driving around Hertford. Well, there's no Southern Bank where I bank. And I'm already thinking, like, I hope these people recognize me from my blog. I hope they like me so that they'll give me money because I have no ID, no nothing. I'm going to have to be like, hi, I'm Adrian. I live in Edenton, blah, blah, blah. Well, there's no bank. So food line, I do my shopping, spend a ridiculous amount of money. That's a very nice food line. Bought a tenderloin. And then I proceed to get cash out and it worked. I went back to the Dollar Tree to pay for my Easter presents. And again, I realize this is not a difficult existence I have. But I can do all these things because we have teachers. Yeah, last night I had my two friends, uh, Kate Swenson, Finding Cooper's Voice, Carrie Cariello, and my friend Mary Scott. Um, uh, her page is something about Mary. She uh, lives in Edenton. And she came on with the three of us and talked about being the friend of a mom who has a child with a disability. And it was really nice because it is a different, um, it's a different friendship. I think when you're that friend, you have to give an awful lot. And I think we're all tired and worn out and we just want friends that probably are easy and low maintenance. And I am not that friend. I'm probably not that friend anyway, but particularly with my life, I'm not that friend. But I, I would argue that it's probably like life 
in my house generally is that just because things are hard doesn't mean they're not super worthwhile. And I think um, her children have benefited like my children because they really know. Who is that? The Captain Hat. The Captain Hat? But what's your name? Amos. Amos. Stop the word. And what does Amos have going on today? The airport. Today? To the airport? Yes. No. The Seattle Space Needle. Oh, you do want to go to the Seattle Space Needle. We know that. But what are you doing? Who's coming home today? Thomas and Russell. That's right. Thomas and Russell. And then where are we going on Easter Sunday? Cecilia's house. Cecilia's house. Who's Cecilia's mommy? She's a... Who's Cecilia's mommy? Cecilia's mommy's name is Me. Me Mary Scott. That's right. That's right. And Mary Scott is mommy's friend. And what is Cecilia's sister's name? Ella. Do you know? So her kids are getting the benefit like my kids are. Oh, thank you, Kathy. Yes, and if you loved it, come be a subscriber. I think you would really enjoy it. Um, it's, it's, we do, I do a daily video and um, just different topics. My yeah. boys are home this weekend, so that's going to be really fun. I'm doing a subscriber video right after this just to shoot the, you know what. Um, but I think it's a benefit. So if you're somebody out there and you don't have any friends that have children with disabilities, find them, like include them, ask them. It's, um, it makes a real difference to us. Um, I mean, it's life changing, honestly, because we have another house we can go to, which Amos loves going to other people's houses and we feel welcome. And my other kids feel welcome and know that these friends accept them because it's hard sometimes. But Amos is going to go to church on Easter, yes. isn't he? Yeah. Amos really loves to go to church. Oh, shoot. Here's my, um, here's my law office people. Y'all can come right in. Oh, uh, uh, hush. Stop. Stop. Y'all can go in that door down there. Then the door will attack you. Okay. Uh, are you crazy? Stop it. My God, the dog is going to eat someone. You're insane. That is really insane. Uh, stop. No. Anyway, that's just a total aside from teachers. Amos, who are your teachers? Amos. No, who are your teachers? Miss Brandy. Miss Brandy? And who's your other teacher? Miss Nick. Miss Nixon, do you love your teachers? The last day of school. The last day of school is yesterday. Yeah. What did you tell everybody at school? What did you say? Did you say bye, everyone? Bye. Bye, everyone. Bye, everyone. That's right. So Amos spends... Um, good part of his day in the traditional second grade classroom and then he also was with Miss Richardson in the exceptional children's classroom and every day when he leaves school leaves his other classroom Miss um, Nixon who's his traditional teacher sent me a video the other day he says bye everyone and then they all have to say bye Amos and then when they um, come back from specials. He doesn't go to specials with them because he's honestly probably because he just doesn't like art. But anything with a long period of sitting is really not his favorite. But then they like vie to see who can go get him from Miss Richardson's class. And one thing we've done this year, I think that's really been nice and helpful for the school and for me and for Amos. <coughs> Honor! heard somebody you who is that um he gets to choose so he can choose like, honor I'm, I'm seriously 
quiet. Come over here. Owner's not used to all these people in the house during the day. Sit down. Uh-uh. Quiet. Quiet. You are not an attack dog. The other night, Daddy came in at like 2 in the morning, got in our bed, and you didn't wake up. I mean, don't try to act like you're like ferocious. Um, he gets to choose when, like, does he want to go eat lunch with Miss Nixon's class? Does he, he typically does math and reading in her classroom, but he gets the opportunity to say. And that is really, the school has really let him lead that. And I think that's a pretty new concept, honestly, because I think we think, oh, we know better. We know what he wants. But the teachers are letting him choose, letting him decide where he wants to be. So the other day, he he smushed his finger in the door. And Miss Richardson said, he, you know, she, he cried and she hugged him. And then he said, we don't need to go to math today. We need to sit on the carpet. And so he didn't go to math. And Miss Nixon's room, which he normally did. But for him, that was just an injury can like really exacerbate your anxiety. And so it's really nice for that to be that ability to say, hey, yeah, learning to self advocate. It's huge, huge. Anyway, I'm just really proud of him and proud of where he is and what our school is doing for him. Um, and trying to be the kind of person that's helpful. You know, I one thing I think as a parent, I remember when we met his geneticist at Columbia and she's telling us, you know, about this diagnosis and everything. And I said, what can I do for him? And she said, the best thing you can do for him is be president of the PTA. Well, I did not expect that answer. I was like, what? Because I already am president of the PTA. And I was thinking I needed to get off. And she was like, no, like that is what you do so that your child is not a number. And when you live in a small area like ours, you probably don't get, you don't have school options, right? There aren't a bunch of schools, but I will say it's almost better because then there's no trying to figure out what's best for him or where he should go or what he should do. Or if we lived in Raleigh, they'd be trying to send him to an autism classroom, you know, like, where we live is the real world. And so he's getting an opportunity just to be a part of the real world, which is great. And then if we go to the playground or we go to McDonald's, the kids know him, we go to church. Anyway, it's really nice. Um, it's really nice. So, Amy yeah, says teachers are such a blessing to you. Yes, golly Molly, yes they are. And you know, I always think it's because, well, both of his teachers, his exceptional children's teacher clearly has a heart for exceptional children. Um, and you know, I never would have chosen like people that adopt or foster children with disabilities. No, I might could do that. But like, I didn't choose that route like this. Amos fell into our lives. We didn't go out and seek him out. And there are people that do, do say, I want to work with exceptional people. And I just think that's to be congratulated. And his traditional teacher, who is just a regular, amazing second grade teacher, she has loved him and taken him on. And she genuinely adores having him in her class. So as we're choosing... Um, what the best placement is for him next year in the third grade. You know, somebody said, you get to choose his teacher. And I was like, no, I don't, we don't get to choose the teacher. But I can say as a parent, as a voice on the IEP team, it's really important to me to have a teacher that wants him in her classroom. So I don't ever want a teacher to feel like, I don't think I can handle Amos because I want Amos to be loved and welcomed. And I get it, you know? I mean, I get it. Truly, I get it. So, and it's no, no harm done. I'm not disappointed with anybody that says, I don't think people are gonna say that, but I think it's just, 
important. Teaching adaptive physical education changed my life. I can only hope the same for the students I work with. I bet it did. Seriously. I, 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 I really feel like he is just loved and adored and welcomed. He needs to blend in, not be separated from regular student staff. Your students and staff, your community understands that's best for Yeah, Deborah, and that's a big deal. I mean, you inclusion is still, um, I mean, in Wake County, why are there autism classrooms? I mean, there are autism classrooms in Wake County. That is not inclusion. And I, so I don't understand why that's still happening. And I think parents will say to you, boy, we like that class. We need that class. I mean, I get it. And if parents are happy, but I will say to you, I thought that Amos was good in the exceptional children's class. During COVID, he didn't wear a mask. I didn't want him to poison other people. He was having a pretty good, really two years, he was in that classroom without access to his typical peers. It was COVID. It was just the way it was. And I was fine with it. But this year, having this access to his peers, he is so much happier. He's so much social, more social. He's so much just more involved. Shagreev Shahan, Shagreev Shahan said, call me my love. Shagreev, I'm not calling you. No, I'm not. But I'm going to ban you from the page. Goodbye, Shagreev. Oh, that makes me feel loved when I get a, a spammer. I really do like that. Um, anyway, well, that's all I got. That's my preaching. Good Friday preaching today. So it's Easter weekend in Eastern North Carolina. Everybody's got to have their dress right. And you can wear white shoes now. No, that's Memorial Day. White shoes and pantyhose. Mm-hmm. Kathy. And Easter lunch, you got to have fried chicken, deviled eggs, and asparagus. Brownies. I'm going to make some brownies today. I have the brownies out on the counter. I don't know where they are. Amos and I are going to make brownies. That might be what we do with the subscribers this morning. Um, oh, I'm so glad, Candy. You would like the subscribe page. So it's offering kind of in an Easter bonnet. Oh my God. No pantyhose. I mean, really like my mother is the last person on the planet that wears tights. So next year we're going to be next week. We're going to be with my parents and keep us cane. And that is really going to be fun because my parents do do some videos. My dad is real loose cannon. Yes, he is. Um, I've been gifted with the student with autism in my class this year. Transitioned from a functional class. We've all grown and Amos has helped me with it, as have you. Oh, thank you, Jennifer. And thank you for what you're doing. That's great. I need to join your subscriber page. You and Kate are my fave. Yay! I'll tell you what, it's fun. It's a fun deal. And people are like, I mean, what are you paying for on Facebook? I've never paid for anything on Facebook. I'm like, well, it's a new day. <laughs> Do you have Amos on a special diet? No. D I'm not the person to talk to about food. No. No. Right now on my counter, there's a can of cat food and a box of Fruit Loops. <laughs> This is a real life over here. Yeah, it's true. I know, I'm so glad to be up. I love nothing. There is nothing more wonderful than not waking up to an alarm. Like, there. I bet there are no alarm clocks in heaven. There just can't be because it is spectacular. Now, meanwhile, somebody had gotten me up at like 1 and at 4. So Amos woke up at 1 and then I went and got in his bed, and then at four, he realized it, and then he said, Mommy, where are you? And then he gets in my bed, or he gets back in his bed, then I go get back in my bed. I mean, this is what we do around here. We just play musical bets. 
My daughter is a school principal at a pre-K through eight school with 800 students. Large number of exceptional students here, so to include them all as much. Oh, I'm so glad. You know, Debbie, I guess what I think is how can we expect the world to be inclusive in a real way if we don't give the world access to those who need it included? You know, it's not enough to show up and be like, today's Special Olympics, yahoo, we're going to help you. Like, no, that is not enough. Like, I'm talking Easter lunches. I'm talking come over to Adrian's house and hang out and maybe get a Lego banged at your head. I mean, I'm talking about real life. Someday you're a police officer and my friend's kids will know, hmm, I think he reminds me of Amos, you know, like, this is important stuff. Anyway. Going to Florida. Yeah, girl, going to Florida. Even though I'm looking old as hell and need to get no sun. I mean, golly Moses, I'm looking old. I'm 48. And it doesn't help that I've had a mother look good my whole life. It's a real problem. Okay, subscribers. See you in a minute. Goodbye. If you want to be a subscriber and you're not sure you want to pay the $5, you can subscribe and send me a message and I will give you $5. I will Venmo it to you. I do not mail checks. People ask me that. No, I do not go to the post office unless the IRS is after me. But I will Venmo you $5 so you can do it for a month for free. If you like it, carry on.